Hello viewers, now I am going to uh, give the continuation class for multiplication pattern for isotropic elements. In previous, I have just explained how we draw the radiation pattern for a 8 isotropic elements and now we will proceed with, sorry, uh, 4 isotropic elements, now we will proceed with 8 isotropic. See, let us consider an array having 8 isotropic elements. Here also the uh, same case, that is each and every element will be provided with equal spacing. So for this type of array, within just 2 to 3 steps, I will get the resultant pattern. So that is the simplicity of this multiplication pattern concept. Here first we will see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have taken 8 isotropic elements placed with equal spacing 2, 2 5, 6, 7 and 8. Each and every element we separated with equal distance lambda by 2, lambda by 2, lambda by 2 and repeated. So having this all the elements with equal spacing, what is our task? Each and every element we will consider as individual units. We will transform them into the smaller units. So actually all these 8 individual units are transformed into a simple unit array or group pattern. So first we will start from this end. Each and everywhere we will reduce them into smaller portions. So this here I am going to take in a very simple task. See actually in 4 isotropic elements up to this 4 elements what is the spacing we got? D is equal to lambda. I think you can recall back uh, or you can refer my previous video and for this rest of four elements again the same thing I can repeat with d is equal to lambda. You can understand in this way or we can again individually do all the calculation also. Any process you get the same type of answer. So for these four elements we are getting d is equal to lambda spacing and again 5, 6, 7, 8. For these elements also, we are getting D is equal to lambda spacing. So if you add these two, finally what again we get? D is equal to lambda plus lambda. D is equal to lambda. This is the total spacing when we consider the 8 isotropic element sources. So now this D is equal to lambda will be our group pattern spacing. For this, I need to calculate the radiation pattern so for that again we will refer back to our formula. The main important thing you have to understand is how to reduce this unit. See each and every one we can reduce to lambda by 4, lambda by 4, lambda by 4, lambda by 4 and same repeated. And if you sum up all these things again you will be getting the same answer. You can do in that way or otherwise in a simple way just consider this section as one part and this rest of section as other part. So there simply this part we will get lambda, for this part we will get lambda, lambda plus lambda, 2 lambda, right? Anyway, we can proceed. Now for calculation of group pattern, simply the same formula here also. E is equal to 2E naught cos alpha by 2. Actually 2E naught uh, will be reduced to, to 1. You will consider as unit magnitude and directly taking cos alpha by 2. Okay. So, from this what we get E is equal to cos of beta D cos theta by 2. I think all these things you will be aware in starting of this array unit itself. That's why I am not repeating. Next, what is the value of beta? 2 pi by lambda. Now, here in this place of D what we have to replace to lambda. D is nothing but spacing between the elements, right? So, replace it with 2 lambda. 2 lambda into cos theta by 2, 2, 2 gets cancelled, lambda, lambda gets cancelled, there what is left over, E is equal to cos of 2 pi cos theta, okay, this is the equation I have obtained, using this equation I will find out the group pattern, right, here again the same thing repeats, what we have to do, we have to get the maximum value of the radiation pattern, how we can do that, by using the general solutions, right, so for uh, cos theta, what is the general solution we are having for maxima radiation? Theta is equal 
theta max is equal plus or minus n pi right this is a formula we are having just that we will use here so first when we are going to calculate the first theta maximum what we get 2 pi cos theta maximum is equal plus or minus first i will go with n is equal 0 same as usual what we have done for 4 isotropic here also the same thing happens so in the place of n if i put 0 i will just get 0 and here the answer will be simply theta max is equal 90 degrees and 270 degrees first one right next when we go with n is equal to 1 repeat the same process 2 pi cos theta max is equal plus or minus pi and here what happens pi pi gets cancelled here theta max is equal cos inverse of half right this two i have taken this side we will be having plus or minus so for this what is the value you will get plus or minus 60 and plus or minus 120 and next you will go with n is equal to already i said we have to take the values continuously up to all the possible existing values right so now 2 pi cos theta maximum is equal to plus or minus 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled what is left over theta max is equal cos inverse of 1 so for this what is value i get 0 and 180 that's it and next try for the next value you will just check here n is equal to 3 what i am getting 2 pi cos theta max is equal to plus or minus 3 pi 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 gets cancelled 3 by 2 you will be getting theta max is equal to cos inverse 3 by 2 will it exist it will not exist so here we will be stopping our calculation so this does not exist and my existing values are 90 270 plus or minus 60 120 and 0 180 using all these values i am going to plot my group pattern same process what we have done for four isotropic case so here what we have to do just get a individual pattern and then using that uh, individual or unit pattern you just multiply with the group pattern right see here first get your individual pattern here the case of individual pattern observe carefully this is my individual pattern and i will explain why i have taken this one and here the spacing is d is equal to lambda by 2 my elements are 4 observe carefully my elements are 4 it is multiplied to your group pattern and here whatever all the calculation i have done is for group pattern right for our group of these elements d is equal to 2 lambda for that i am going to give you the radiation pattern so whatever all the values i got here you just look here whatever all the values i got 90 270 first max mass 90 270 and 0 180 i am not following the order just i am drawing all the things plus 60 minus 60 and plus 120 minus 120 these are all the values i got right so this is my resultant pattern with d is equal to 2 lambda spacing here again uh, what is the um, uh, value we have reduced this to is just n is equal to 2 elements right we have reduced this pattern so if we multiply these two we will get our resultant pattern so resultant pattern what we how we can draw just observe carefully first we have to take the basic as usual whatever the individual pattern we are having draw as it is and afterwards uh, whatever the elements we are having in the group pattern that will be repeated observe carefully first to draw your individual pattern as it is right draw your individual pattern as it is individual or unit pattern anyway we can call it see i have repeated as it is whatever the elements you have in your group elements that will appear as complete side lobes and see totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i will distribute equally all these eight on both sides right like this so this is simply my resultant pattern for eight isotropic elements for eight elements 
see here what is the pattern I have taken 4 into 2 is equal to 8 so previously for 4 isotropic elements what I have done 2 into 2 is equal 4 and next for example I need to get a, a radiation pattern for 16 elements means simple task what I do 8 into 2 is equal 16 here one important thing you have to notice here is see here when I am going to calculate the 8 isotropic elements my unit pattern or my individual pattern is 4 when I am going to calculate the multiplication pattern for 16 elements my individual or unit pattern is 8 here what is happening this resultant has become here the individual pattern and this is remaining same group pattern so only thing what we have to do is we will just get the previous data and based on that I will calculate the group pattern I will get the resultant see in a single step we are able to get the resultant pattern so while you are going to calculate this multiplication patterns keep a simple point in your mind the only two steps in the first step reduce your array to single unit that is the first thing we will do then calculate the group or radiation pattern for this spacing only formula you have to keep in mind is cos alpha by 2 that's it and rest of thing you will be doing for all the case of your broadside array and fire array so this is nothing new process this is old process only and whatever all the values you got finally uh, that you will be placing in your group pattern so this is simply our uh, group pattern and this is my unit or individual pattern by multiplying that we will get the resultant pattern that's a very simple process thank you thanks for watching this video